In this screencast, we're going to continue our discussion of the elimination mechanism by looking at the synthesis of alkenes by the dehydration of alcohols. So this is going to be a unimolecular elimination. And so if we look at our starting material, we have uh, a secondary alcohol. We're treating with a strong acid, sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, and the Greek delta means heat. So a secondary alcohol treated with concentrated sulfuric acid and heat gives us an alkene. So we've, we've classified the alcohol as secondary. That's going to be the carbon bearing the leaving group, so I want to call that the alpha carbon. The carbons attached directly to that are both beta carbons. Notice this is a symmetric molecule, so be both beta carbons each are bearing two hydrogens. So we said this is a uni unimolecular mechanism. So what is happening? So we have to basically get, a, get rid of the molecule water, H2O. That's what a dehydration means. And as you can see, if we, if we take account what's happening, so we lose the alpha OH group we lose a beta hydrogen, so overall we're losing water. So that's what we have to account for in this mechanism. So one of the, the most important features uh, in, in mechanisms for organic chemistry is that OH- is a bad leaving group. Additionally, we're in acidic medium, so every, every intermediate that we show in this mechanism essentially has to be positive. So what we're going to do first is protonate with our acid, sulfuric acid, which I'm going to gener uh, show as H plus X minus. Um, so we're in equilibrium here. So the hydroxyl group is being protonated, and the point of doing this is to generate a good leaving group. There's the counter ion associated with this intermediate. So this intermediate looks like a hydronium ion, which is H3O+. Um, so we can use that as a reference. And what's going to happen now is the ionization event to form the carbocation in which water is going to leave. We lose water at this point. Notice the conservation of that plus charge now ends up on carbon. So this is a carbocation. It just so happens to be a secondary carbocation because that's the type of alcohol that we started with. And at this point, what we're going to do is examine the beta carbons. So each beta carbon has two hydrogens. So essentially what we're going to do now is the elimination. And I'm going to show this in, in catalytic amount of acid. So the counter ion is actually going to do the abstraction of the beta proton. So that's going to show how we get to our alkene. So this is actually going to regenerate the sulfuric acid. And at this point, we're ending up with a di-substituted alkene. So to review, this has been the synthesis of alkenes through the dehydration of alcohols via the E1 mechanism. The hydroxyl group is protonated in the first step. Water is lost through an ionization to generate a carbocation. And then the elimination occurs, which we've shown with catalytic amount of acid.